welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark Hoffman and today I have the pleasure of taking you around our 2014 Challenger. As you've seen from inquiring on the car, amazingly low kilometres, just 14,000 kilometres on this vehicle. So the video is going to be mostly about condition and quality, a little bit about features as well. As you'd expect from the kilometres of the car, does present brilliantly, but we like to prove it to our out-of-state buyers who can't come and see the vehicle. At the front is fitted with the factory alloy bull bar, which doesn't add a lot of weight to the front of the vehicle, very strong though, so it doesn't affect the handling of the vehicle like a steel bull bar does. The Challenger does get the projector headlights, unlike the Triton, which the Challenger is based off. It does have a spot here if you were to fit a little light bar or something like that at the front. No signs of stone chips or any sort of damage across the front of the vehicle. Presents very, very well. Coming to the driver's side now, we do have alloy wheel on this side. No sort of scuffs or scratches or anything like that. And a brilliant condition Bridgestone road tyre. They can easily, actually can't touch the bottom of the tread there. A lot of tyre tread there. Coming down the side of the car, we have indicators in the mirrors. We have nice running boards that have been unmarked. I can't find even a fingernail scratch on the side of this vehicle. Presents brilliantly. Does have what looks like privacy glass on the back, and I don't think the windows at the front are tinted. It's a bit hard to tell in this sunlight, though. Coming up to the uh, top of the roof there, we do have the roof rails. We don't have root crossbars on it, but you can get them from our service department if you needed a little bit more storage space. Coming to the back of the vehicle now, Yet again, an unmarked alloy wheel, brilliant condition Bridgestone tyre at the back, road tyre of course. Coming around to the back of the uh, Challenger now, is fitted with a few things here we've got to talk about. Obviously, if you're interested in towing a van, these features are definitely going to appeal to you, apart from my shadow at the back. does have reversing sensors to make uh, reversing a lot easier. It does have a reversing camera here. I'll let the shadow sort of make it a bit easier to see. Down the bottom, we have our tow bar, of course. Good tow rating on these vehicles, but the thing here is it does have the 9-pin flat plug does have the Anderson charge plug, but does also have the auxiliary Anderson plug there, often used for the ESP systems on some of the newer trailers as well. So really good to see it's ready to go for whatever trailer you buy. Coming down to the side of the pa passenger side of the vehicle now, well noticed, no signs of scratches, nicks or dents here, the same as before. Unmarked rear wheel on this vehicle and a brilliant condition Bridgestone tyre at the back. I usually on these vehicles like to find like a little tiny scratch or something, but I'm really struggling on this car to actually find anything on it. Brilliant condition running board, no signs of scratches or damage there. No damage on the mirror, brilliant condition. No scratches on the front wheel as well. We're starting to see a pattern here, it presents so well and a brilliant condition front tire as well. So actually going all the way around this vehicle, I have actually not managed to find a single thing wrong with it, presents as a demonstrator vehicle. All right, around to the front of the Challenger, I think at the start of the video I might have said 14,000 kilometers, car is actually 18,000. Still very, very low kilometers though for the year. Coming up to the front now, we've cheated a little bit by opening the bonnet because we've got a bit to talk about up here. You're looking at a 2.5 litre high output four cylinder turbo diesel. It's gonna give you 131 kilowatts of power, 350 newton meters of torque through a five-speed automatic transmission you're going to get 9.8 liters to the 100 which is around 700 kilometers of average driving range do you have a few accessories fit to the vehicle as we mentioned at the back we do have the dual anderson plugs projector controller there the voltage sensitive relay so all fitted ready to go like magic we're to the back of the challenger now as i mentioned before gave you the highlight reel dual anderson plugs nine feet pin flat towing plug there down behind there we have a brilliant condition tire a bit hard to see on the video three ton towing on the Challenger as well, so ready to tow whatever you want to tow with it. Lift the tailgate up, gas struts take it out of our way. Good thing with it, it's not a heavy tailgate. It's got a little bit of weight, but nothing that uh, the height challenged among us like myself are gonna struggle with. Back here is brilliant yet again. I'm used to talking about scratches and marks on the plastic trims. None of that. It just presents so well, this car. Do have tie-down plugs all the way around it, and we do have the child seat anchor points, of course. There's three of which across the top of the roof here, one of which is fitted to the vehicle. One thing to note, we do have the 12-volt socket here if you were to charge, say, a little fridge or maybe the kid's iPad at the back there, as well as a little one here. I like that one. You grab the single jug of milk, hang the bag there, and drive home. It doesn't roam around the back because the boot is so big, I can't actually touch the back of it. Hello, and we're inside the Challenger now. Um, we'll start off with the steering wheel here. Such a comfortable place to be. They really brought it up with the last of these Challengers here. Uh, on the steering wheel, leather wrapped, of course, nice black stitching throughout, nice silver trims here. Commonly do see wear here on the used ones. None of that here. We've got um, cruise control on the right, media controls on our left. Down the bottom, we've got our Bluetooth phone controls. Next to a little SRS symbol. On this car, four airbags, dual front and dual side curtain, of course. 
behind the steering wheel. It's a bit hard to see. You might have to lift the camera up there, Mr. Lynn. But actually, no, I can turn the steering wheel. Look at that. I like it when they don't turn with the wheel because paddle shifting down here is a bit difficult. Do have two and they're steel, so they're nice feel to it. Paddle shifters, of course. Brilliant if you're towing, you want to just to hold a certain gear, say third or fourth up a hill. Or if you're off-roading, of course, you've got good control of the gearbox. If it is in manual mode, you just hold the up panel for a little while and turn it off. While I've got turned this way, we've got headlights and fog light control on this side. Um, we've got wiper controls both front and rear on this side. In the center, I'll just turn the headlights on so you can see it. We do have, if it's a bit bright today, but it does uh, have red dash illumination there. Um, car is currently showing 18,801 kilometers. It does show you full drive mode down there as well. We'll get into that in a moment. Right hand side of the steering wheel, we have two factory fitted keys, one of which still has its little heat shrink on it, which is nice to see. Um, one of my favorite buttons, I like going off road in my car quite often, and uh, rear diff lock is a brilliant feature to have. It is a great get out of jail free card. If you've got a rear wheel off the ground where a limited slip differential is just not gonna work, rear diff lock and you just walk past a lot of people that are struggling with obstacles, a great button. Mirrors of course, of course they fold, big mirrors on the Challenger, Fold in if you're in a car park, unfold, electric adjust, of course, because we're in the future. Four-door power windows, of course, and a little button there to stop my camera from playing with them. And a nice crosshatch sort of silver pattern here, sort of like carbon fibre on the door trims as well. Into the centre, Mr. Lynn. In the centre here, we've got the raised updated console as well. We've got the trip computer there, which shows a compass that it's a nice 7 degrees here in Berwick at 10.30. Um, if I hit this little button here, it'll scroll through what we've actually done. Outside temperature, elevation, barometer, uh, the date, off as well, which is nice sometimes at night time. So it's a really good feature to have, actually. Coming down from there, we've got the, the uh, media system that most Mitsubishis have because it works. Currently set to FM, a brilliant button here. If you go down to, say, Gippsland and the radio station just stops working, hit that button, it'll come up with all of the local radio stations so you don't have to drive in silence. But to avoid that completely, hit menu, Bluetooth audio, Pandora, Spotify, iTunes library, play it through your uh, media system here from your pocket, a really good thing to have. We won't turn it on, we'll move down from there. Um, we've got um, climate control, of course, where you want it, how much fan you want and what temperature you want. A button to test all four indicators at the same time if you're feeling like playing around. Now we will go in here for a moment. Now, for the older among you, I've got an old Taconcha brake unit, the big knee basher unit we all know and love. This is the new Red Arc unit, flush mount, not going to hit your knee on it, simple to adjust, just turn the knob there, automatic, brilliant unit, so much better than the knee dent I've got from driving my car. Coming over to the centre, we've got a little 12 volt socket here, a little blank and a, I think it's the sonar off, yes it is, button there as well, so if you're reversing, you um, the car doesn't think you're reversing into your own trailer. Automatic shifter, of course. We go through into reverse, center screen there displays our reversing camera there. If you were to put the tow bar in, it does show it nice and easily. And then we've got D for drive, and then sports mode if we're feeling sporty. But remember, you do have the shifters on the steering wheel, so probably rare you'd use that side shift. Pop it into park. Into the center here, we have our full drive system. Let's turn the car off so it stops vibrating there. Two highs where you're gonna leave it most of the time. Four high is usable, obviously, on wet weather roads or dirt roads. Uh, four high locked center. That's when you're on, say, dirt tracks and things, but you don't want the um, fuel usage of four low. You want a bit more speed. Push it in and up, and you get four low locked center, which is you're climbing every mountain and fording every stream. Combine that with a rear diff lock. Your only limitation is really tires, and put on a big set of mud tires, and this thing will go anywhere. Coming back from there, we've got two cup holders, of course. Nice center console here. Oop, second button there. We've got a little little shelf here for your phone. It's got a little cord holder there as well, which means underneath here we've got a 12 volt socket as well as the auxiliary input down the bottom there. Got to get my camera to zoom around the interior now. As you'd expect, interior presents brilliantly. Black cloth trim throughout. Does have a uh, floor mats front and rear for this vehicle as well in brilliant condition the rear seat back there presents brilliantly as well now one thing i focus on when i buy a vehicle is the smell and oddly enough the roof lining it shows a, an owner of the vehicle who cares roof lining on this car unmarked and the smell perfect does smell like a new car so no cigarette smoke quickly jump into the service books of the car now Originally owned by a human, not a company, which is good to see. Did the original uh, service inspection, the free one, which shows a good owner yet again. 
Going back to the end of the book, where are we? Here we go. So it had the initial inspection, then it had it one at 15,000, then we've got us again at 18,000 when we brought it into stock. So full service history on this car. You've been well. watching this video walk around tour of our 2014 Challenger. As you've seen, this car is set up and ready to do your next Australia wide tour. Do be very quick for this vehicle because of all of the options have made it very popular. Give us a call 9907 0555. But wait, before you go, we can offer on this vehicle a five year extended mechanical protection plan, which now includes 10 years of roadside assistance nationwide. That number again, 9907 0555. And thank you for watching.